Okay, um, I'm going to show you uh, some options we can do with the filters and animate CC. Mm. This filter function uh, it only works with either actual types or movie clip symbols only. So if you try to do something with you know, just, um, just a graphic or your vector images, uh, it's not going to work. It has to be converted uh, to um, movie clip symbol. So let's do something with uh, types. Uh, just to make it quick, I'm going to use the um, Arial Bold and I'm going to type just a PSU. Uh, not Arial Bold, let me try the Arial Black, even heavier than Arial Bold, Arial Black. Okay. And place this in the center and I'm gonna fill it in white. My text color is gonna be white. So white on white, so we see nothing. So uh, the plan is I'm going to animate uh, the shadow uh, of this PSU text um, by applying the Emson filters. Uh, so select the first keyframe, let me click on my text. Make sure you click on the text and then your properties panel will show you information about your text. So uh, about the typeface and the size and the text color, we see everything. And then on the very bottom, there's one section is called the filters. And we're gonna see that plus sign add filter. We're gonna add just drop shadow. Um, maybe distance. I want to have a little more, a little further. And fuzzier, softer. Okay. So this is gonna be my kind of first uh, keyframe. The plan is I'm going to set uh, just another keyframe, the second keyframe, and then I will change the um, um, the angle of this drop shadow. So um, the um, the result we're gonna see is like the um, the rising sun from the west, and then on the left hand side, and then moving the light source to the right uh, by presenting the um, um, the, uh, the drop shadows location. Um, so let's take a look at this. Select the first keyframe, same thing, insert motion twin on frame number 24 because the, uh, uh, the default frame rate is 24 frames per second. Uh, and then just insert the keyframe by hitting the F6. Okay, and then let me click on my text again. So this is a very kind of a uh, important part so it looks like I'm selecting my PSU letters but uh, actually I'm selecting my current selection is the um, uh, frame number 24 which is my second keyframe on the properties panel you can see the information about the keyframe not about the image so click on the text image and then let me change the um, just angle just like that and that's it. Rewind. Let me play. Okay. So it's pretty cool. And then just play with the uh, several other filter options from here. Drop shadow, blur, glowing, outer glowing, bevel, uh, beveled edges, and then a kind of three-dimensional looking. Gradient glow, bevel color, and you can uh, control the um, um, RGB coordinations. So um, yeah, just play with this. It's pretty easy to uh, follow and uh, easy to guess uh, because we've been trained in from Photoshop or Illustrator. Uh, so you can do the same effect with this type of text or movie clip symbol. Okay.